Okay, so today we're going to talk about mixed numbers, which is 4.3 in our textbook. We're going to look at how to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions and then converting the improper fractions back into mixed numbers. But first of all, we need to know what a mixed number is. And to know what a mixed number is, we need to review. So we're looking at some whole numbers. So we've been working with whole numbers since before we went to school. So these are examples of whole numbers. When they're represented as a fraction, they're represented as, so if, um, one whole could be represented as 3 over 3. Equals one whole. Could be 17 over 17. So as long as the the top and the bottom numbers are the same, so it means 17 parts out of the 17 that there are. So they're now proper fractions, I want you to write this definition down. So they are fractions where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So it's only part of the whole number. So when we're looking at two thirds, for example, it's only two parts out of the three. So if we do represent that as a picture, so we're breaking it into three, that's one whole, is three parts out of the three. But if we're actually wanting to represent two thirds, there's one, two. So now I've shaded two thirds of the whole. So that's a proper fraction because it's not a whole, not quite a whole number. So it's where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Now an improper fraction, as the name suggests, is not proper. It's not a proper fraction. So um, it's where the fractions, it's the fractions where the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So it actually equals more than one whole. So when we're looking at 4 over 2, for example, we've got 4 halves. So if we have 4 halves, so we're going to do some, a diagram here, that's 4. So 2 out of 2, 2 parts out of 2 would be the whole number. We've got four parts out of two, so that means it equals, it actually equals two whole. All right, so sometimes the improper fractions can equal a whole number, whereas in the case of seven sixes, when you break the, so you've got six parts, I'm going to do a rectangle this time. Six, pretend they're six even parts. All right, we've got two rectangles broken into six equal parts, okay? And we're actually shading seven of them. So six of, out of the six would be a whole number. Well, now we're going to shade seven is actually one more than a whole number. So it's one whole number and one six. All right, so improper fractions are always bigger than one whole, but it could also equal a whole number. But it always has to be more than one whole. All right, so mixed numbers, as the name suggests, is a mixture of a whole number and a proper fraction. So obviously this part is the whole number and this part is the fraction. So it's made up of the whole number and a proper fraction. So what's this mixed number? Now let's pretend that this is we're just looking at the blue part. So what is the blue part representing represented as a whole as a mixed number? 
Alright, so we can see we've got one hole, two hole, and three hole numbers. And then we've broke the last one's broken into quarters. So we know that that's the denominator. Three out of the four are shaded blue. So we can say that it's three and three quarters is the mixed number represented here. Right, now, just to see if you understand, I want you to draw a diagram to represent the mixed number of two and three fifths in your math book, please. I want you to pause the video right now while you do that. Okay, so I'm going to draw it for you. This is what you should have done. You could have done a rectangle or um, circles. Up to you. So you needed to break whatever shape you chose to use into fifths. So fifths is our denominator. So the fraction must be out of five. It has five equal parts for each whole. So we know that it has two whole numbers. So I'll just quickly shade. That's one whole number. Two whole numbers. And then we need three out of the five shaded. So this is two and three fifths. Right, now I'm going to talk about changing the mixed number into an improper fraction. Now you'll need to do this if you are working with addition and subtraction of fractions. Um, so you, what you need to do is multiply the whole number by the denominator. So this is step one. So you're starting with the denominator. And as you can see the multiplication sign here. So you're multiplying two by four. That's step one. Then step two is to add the result you got. So two times four is eight. And then we're adding the numerator to the answer that you get. So eight plus one then is nine. Now we still leave the denominator the same, always um, the same when we're doing this. Alright, so we are multiplying the denominator by the whole number and then we're adding the numerator to get the improper fraction. So you should have written this down in your maths book. Right, now I want you to see if you can change this mixed number to an improper fraction before I do the example for you. So just pause the video. Now remembering the steps so we need to, step one is we start with the denominator, remember, and then we are multiplying. So three times three, three times three is nine, plus, then we add, so then we add the numerator. So nine plus two is 11. And remembering we are keeping the denominator the same because it's always going to, it is three parts. So all, all the whole numbers are split into three equal parts in this case. So three and two thirds is 11 thirds when we're changing it to an improper fraction. And we're gonna have another go. So five times four is 20 plus three, so it's 23. Five. Right now we're doing the doing it um, the reverse. Now we're going to change the improper fraction to a mixed number. So you should write these steps down. Step one is to divide the numerator by the denominator, and then step two is to put the remainder over the denominator. So basically, what we're doing is you remember that the vinculum, which is the line in between the numerator and the denominator 
it, it's a division symbol. So we're actually going to do 5 divided by 2 to get the answer. So we actually want to see how many how many 2's go into 5. Okay, so you can do this on your calculator or you can do a short division. So 5 divided by 2. So 2 2's are 4 and then we've got 1 left over. So that equals two whole numbers and one part left over. Remembering that we're keeping the denominator the same. So 5 over 2 equals 2 and 1 half. Now we're changing this improper fraction to a mixed number. So remember 8 divided by 3. Then we, again, you can use your calculator or you can just do the short division. So you want to do 8 divided by 3. So 3, 2 is a 6. And then you've got 2 left over. Alright, so 8 divided by 3, so or 8 thirds, is 2. Oh, I should have written it down here, so it's 2 and 2 thirds. Alright, now it's your turn. I want you to write these improper fractions as mixed numbers. So pause the video, write them down and write your answer and see if you get the same answer as me. Alright, so 5 into 23. So 23 divided by 5. I know 5 4s are 20, so that would be 4 whole, and then there's 3 left over, so that's 4 and 3 fifths. 17 divided by 7, so 7 2s are 14, and then there's 3 left over. Alright, so you should have got those answers. So hopefully you now understand how to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions, and back again.